Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Raj and you're watching the full review for Alienware 17 R4. I got this laptop recently about a month ago and I thought of reviewing it, you know, I put the unboxing and you guys had a lot of questions about it. So I, I want to go through it. So on the left side of the laptop, we got the lock port, we got the heat sink lens, we got the USB-C, USB 3.0, Got the microphone jack and the headphone jack. And coming to the right side of the laptop, I got another heatsink went and a USB 3.0. They could have added more USB ports, but I believe because of the hard drive space and all the other additions inside the laptop, they did not add any other USB ports here, but they could have. On the rear of the laptop, we got another heatsink went. We got the graphics amplifier port, and just beside that is a power adapter port. And then another USB-C, HDMI port, mini display port, ethernet, and another heat sink went. The speakers on the laptop are really, really nice. These are one of the best speakers you'll get in the market on any laptop of this size. The speakers are powered by Klipsch. There is a left on the right speaker just right in front of the laptop, and just below the laptop you get a subwoofer. Once you open the laptop, you can see the beautiful backlit keyboard. It is a pretty responsive keyboard, and it comes with six macro keys on the left side. It also comes with a number pad and four macro keys on top of the number pad. The touchpad is a really very basic one. It is responsive, it lights up, and it is using Synaptex touchpad driver. They could have also utilized the Palmer stereo to make the touchpad a little bigger in size. Well, they haven't. The back of the LCD also consists of a real your logo, which lights up. And once you open the laptop, you can see the beautiful display that is about 120 hertz, and it says G-Sync panel. You can opt for a non-G-Sync panel as well, but this one that I have right now, has a 120 hertz G-Sync panel. Down here, just below the Alienware logo, you can see the Tobii Eye tracking. Looking at the back of the laptop, there are seven screws, which you can unscrew to open the panel and do your upgrades. So guys, I was talking about a couple of problems that I was facing and I had faced in the past month um, on the 20 users laptop and this particular version has healing issues, definitely, most definitely. And we gotta do a repaste. If we're not able to do a repaste, call them down, they should be able to do it for you. So if you're on 1709 with all security updates and blah 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 kind of shit and you're facing this problem, blue screen of death, especially while playing games, your laptop shuts down, giving you an error that uh, critical process died. In my case, in my particular case, the uh, Intel SATA driver, Intel SATA controller was causing this problem. As soon as I got rid of that driver, that particular controller, it was all good to go. I'll post a link for the driver just in case. Uh, apart from this, I don't see any other issues with this laptop. It's a beautiful laptop, great laptop. If you're trying to purchase this, you don't really have to go for the, um, you know, top-notch configuration. You can go with the basic configuration. One of the one of the solid state hard drives with the operating system and GTX 1080. Uh, if you are trying to choose between the screens, and and I would suggest definitely, definitely go for the G-Sync panels in 120 hertz. Once you play games on it, you would never want to go back. You always want to play games in 120 hertz display. It's beautiful. It's, it plays all the buttery smooth and you don't have any lag, any stuttering whilst playing games. Uh, GTX 1080 outperforms any game that's thrown at it. And the adapter that you get with this uh, to power GTX 1080 is 330 volt adapter. And normally on battery it would go down to about 120 volts or 180 volts, I'm not sure. Uh, if you undervolt the processor, then you'd see temperature differences, obviously, because it's not getting utilized to its capacity or capability. All in all, to give you a summary of this laptop, uh, pros of this laptop are basically it's a very, very, very durable, very nicely built laptop, beautifully designed, all the tone lights, all the customizations that you get with the Alienware Command Center. Speakers on this laptop are phenomenal. Really good sound quality. I was facing a problem with the speakers in the beginning. I forgot to mention that, I'm sorry. Uh, in, the, in the beginning of the first week, I was facing problems with the speakers. They sent me, the second time they sent me the speakers, they were good and they replaced me and everything worked fine after that. 
So a really good sound quality, really good performance, uh, takes care of all the games now, uh, previous games and any game that are going to come in the near future for about at least a couple of years. Uh, you do get a graphics amplifier port here, so if you want to upgrade, you don't really have to change your laptop, just plug in another graphics card and you should be good to go. So you do get really good options for upgrading this laptop if you're looking forward to upgrade in terms of uh, in terms of the hard drive storage capacity of this laptop. You get one um, one one slot for your SATA hard drive, two, well, three for your well, SSDs. So you get in total four hard drives that you're plug into this laptop. Apart from that, you have two memory slots, which is kind of the downside because if you're, if you're into virtualization and you're doing a lot of rendering and and um, you know using softwares like uh, AutoCAD and stuff, you might need more than 32 gigs. I do have 32 gigs right now. So the content of these laptops are the weight of the laptop, the number of ports available on the laptop, uh, memory slots available, which are only two, could have even four slots, and then obviously the temperature issues. So they, all, you would need to do a repaste, as I mentioned. If you're not able to do a repaste on your own, call Dell, tell them you're facing here problems. You want to do a repaste. They should be able to hook you up with some uh, service support and uh, fix you up there. That's all from my side. Thanks very much for watching this video. Um, sorry if you got bored in between uh, because the landing video, the entire idea was to share the entire experience that I've had with this laptop for, for the previous month. Thanks for watching my video. Please do push your questions in the comment section. If you have anything else that you want me to make a video on or gameplays or any reviews, do let me know if it's feasible. I'll be more than glad to post that on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, hit the like button, do subscribe to my channel, and see you later.